Good afternoon. This is our lecture on Introduction to Biostatistics. Objectives for this lecture would be explaining what is biostatistics and its importance, describe the phenomenon of variability, and differentiate the following. So what is statistics? It's a science which deals with the collection, organization, and analysis and interpretation of numerical data. For its plural form, it's a set of data or a mass of observations, vital, health hospital, and public health statistics. Biostatistics, in particular, is the application of statistics to biological life and problems, mainly engaging in public health, medicine, ecological and environment, and agriculture. It is the science which deals with development and application of the most appropriate methods for collecting data, presenting collected data, analysis and its interpretation, and making decisions on the basis of such analysis. Why do we need statistics? So there's variation, tendency of measurable characteristics to change with respect to person, place, and time, which we will remember in our family medicine module would be important in the epidemiological basis of disease. Statistics is necessary to analyze variability in order to describe a certain characteristic or to make a valid conclusion. We could use statistics in data reduction technique, for example, in census versus survey techniques, objective appraisals and evaluations of any program, and tools in the decision of making process in whatever drug or diagnostic that one could use in treating our patients. Why do we need to study statistics? Knowledge of statistics is essential for people going into research, management, or graduate study. It's a course in statistics should help one know when and for what a statistician should be. Statistics would aid the researcher in designing a research project, in processing, organizing, and summarizing research data, quantifying variability, and interpreting results and drawing valid conclusions. We have branches of statistics. Descriptive statistics, which are statistical techniques for summarizing and presenting data in a form that will make them easier to analyze and interpret. This would be counting, proportions, use of tables, and graphs, etc. Inferential statistics are concerned with making estimates, predictions, and generalizations, and conclusions about a target population based on information from a sample. It would include estimations, hypothesis testing, etc. Processes involved in inference would be the following. Statement of an objective, then we collect data. Analysis using appropriate test statistics. Interpretation, and you could draw your inference regarding the population. The nature of statistical data, it's usually expressed numerically, treated as a mass or group of observations, which is subject to variation. So we have constants versus variable. A constant is a fixed or unchanging measurement or phenomenon while a variable is a characteristic that can take on different values for different members of a group, it's changing or inconsistent measurements and cannot be predicted with certainty. These are the types of variables. For quantitative, we have quantitative continuous and quantitative discrete. For qualitative, we have qualitative nominal and qualitative ordinal. 
For qualitative variable, these are variables whose categories are simply used as labels to distinguish one group from another. So numerical representation of the categories are for labeling coding only and not for comparison. For example, would be sex, religion, place of residence, disease status. For quantitative variables, these are values that indicate a quantity or amount and can be expressed numerically. These are values that can be arranged according to magnitude, examples of which are age, height, weight, blood pressure. Quantitative variables may be discrete or continuous. Discrete can assume only integral values or whole numbers, while continuous can attain any value including fractions or decimals. Measurements are processes of assigning qualitative or quantitative information to characteristics of people, objects, or events according to a set of rules. Levels of measurement are the following. Nominal, which is the lowest level of measurement. A classificatory scale wherein the categories are used as labels only. Numbers or names, which represent a set of mutually exclusive and exhaustive classes to which individuals or objects may be assigned. For example, sex, race, blood groups, diagnosis, etc. It could be ordinal, same characteristics as for nominal scales with the additional feature that the classes can be ordered, ordered or ranked. However, the distance between two categories cannot be clearly quantified. Example would be Likert scale, age groups, etc. Interval, same characteristics for ordinal scales. The main difference is all adjacent classes are equal. Conceptually, these scales are infinite in that they have neither beginning nor ending. Zero point is arbitrary and does not mean absence of the characteristics. Interval measures don't make any sense. Ratio, same characteristics as for ordinal scales with the additional features that the meaningful zero point exists. Ratio of two numbers can be meaningful, computed, and interpreted. One characteristic can be measured using different scales. Desirable to have a higher level of measurement, example, interval or ratio, over nominal or ordinal. One of the major determinants of the type of statistical technique that can be most appropriately applied to the data. So this is the ranking of our data, nominal, then ordinal, interval, and ratio. So in summary, we have discussed definition of bias statistics, phenomenon of variation, how it's used in the medical field, its different branches, and nature of statistical data. The types of variable, whether it be qualitative or quantitative, and levels of measurement.